Go all the way closed like this if I want, or all the way open, or we added one more option. Been up for four years and been right in a wind tunnel. Tower hunting and especially videotaping, there's going to be. It's always exciting getting a new deer stand. Hey guys, Capper here. Happy Friday to everyone. I'm not sure when this video will post, but that's today's mission right there. I'm headed over to my buddy Phil's. And I'm gonna give you more info on these blinds. It's a very affordable option, which is why I'm doing it this way this year for this one extra blind. So let's see how it goes. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Today's gonna to be a fun road trip country living adventures and land management stuff but as you're going to see in a second here phil um like a handful of guys that i did help inspire over the last few years with you know owning land land management he has far surpassed me as far as his skill in land management but i'll take a little bit of credit for that so this is his driveway he has a really nice uh, 80 acre parcel but look at this beautiful uh, one of many uh, food plots on his property and I will be doing a drone tour of his property but that'll be in a separate video but in this video we'll see some drone clips so uh, let's hook up with Phil here I'm gonna explain to you all about this deer blind we're gonna modify it make some changes for it and we'll go from there and have some fun so is this the same tower we're gonna build today like this yeah we're gonna just modify it a little bit so that it has a better ladder uh, more of a step instead of a ladder so you know with your your height frame and your hips yeah. we want to make it so we would actually put we're going to put the steps and ladder on the back side on the, the opposite side of this platform it's going to uh -huh. be essentially it's going to look just like that with the exception of instead of the ladder on the right the ladder steps will be on the left side where it's got a longer kick out so that it gives more angle for you to be able to step and walk up and not have to finagle yourself up into this. Yep. The, the company is out of steel steps because of the backlog, so we're just making do for right now until those come back available. Two square units that are like this all the way around, uh -huh. and I make a hybrid so that I can have three that are identical to this so that I've got good bow windows and then The rest is, you know, good for gun hunting or not. I, I stick them in a in a set of woods like this and tuck them in to come in the back over a food plot mm -hmm. so that that way you've got your bow window sticking out. You can see out the sides a little bit, but it gives you better stealth coming in overlooking a food plot. What are they? Four by four? Four by four. Oh, I forgot to put them in. Painted. Yeah, it's four foot by four foot on the floor, and then you got a 12 inch bump out on that bay window. Now, do they all have these like shelves, or is that? Yeah, that well, they don't come with that. Obviously, I put those in. Right. You put the the plywood, and then you put these for shooting rest, stiffeners. Uh, you know, it also helps stiffen up. That's what these pockets are for. Right. Inside here, so that you can you can give it extra strength. For an affordable unit, man, I mean, it'll last once you get it stiffened, just like the one I tested out. I don't remember what brand, but... So, if you could see, that wall uh, over here is bowed in. So, I mean, it's really plastic, thin plastic, but what he's going to do is he's going to push it out as far as it'll go. That if I'd have done, if, if I'd have done what you did, it would have held up a lot better. Well, Tammy's, my wife's, has been up for four years and been right in a wind tunnel and never faltered, never failed, nothing. It, it's, it was the same as the day it went up. So that the front, just the bay window with the bow, bow windows sticks out and the sides are tucked in, so just the face of it. Sorry, we had some difficulty, but what he was saying was just the face of it with the three bow window slots faces the food plot and then the other three sides just have the regular kind of gun or crossbow windows. All right, we're going to get to work here. All 
All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the blind on the ground here. We're going to make a handful of modifications to it. I've learned from over the years, tower hunting and especially videotaping, there's going to be some mods we're going to make here shortly and we'll show you that. So let's get uh, a blind over. We'll do the mods inside and we'll go from there with the tower next. It's always exciting getting a new deer stand. Pinching pennies this year. All right, so I got this window customized. All right, so I can go all the way closed like this if I want. Or all the way open. Uh, but what I usually prefer is a much smaller hole, a sight hole. So, or I can go halfway like this and, and I could use that as a crossbow rest. Or we added one more option right there make a nice uh, peep sight keep a lot of that light out so them them uh, smart does can't pick you off quite as easy and, the, and there's a little adjustment here I could come down even a little bit more so that's what I prefer especially when you're video and deer so this is gonna work out good see I'm not the only one that plants in my driveway nice radish all right the blind is customized we got it all done we're gonna go get a tower and we're gonna make a nicer ladder for my hips and we're gonna load it up right now we're just getting this thing out of the way So this is how we're going to set it up on my property. Probably the skid steer might be a little easier. But obviously you can use a tractor. We got them barely, barely on. Oh! Oh, there, that's better. Nice move. Nice tractor move. Right, now we're gonna mess with the ladder and load up this tower. I can get six out of that. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six.
I got one piece of equipment or two anyways. <laughs> Loading her up. Good stuff right here. All right, thanks for joining us. Uh, we appreciate you tagging along. If you're looking for information on these blinds and you live near Southern Illinois, give me an email. I put it right here in the comments and in the description and stay tuned for a full property tour. Phil has an excellent, excellent property. I think it's about 80 or 85 acres and he's done a fantastic job with it. So don't forget like and subscribe to join us. We'd appreciate having you along for the ride. So. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.